And they had been trapped in the ice for, I believe, three years. Ships stuck in crushing ice, heroic Arctic rescues. Shipmen weathering swelling seas and frigid elements to survive in the harshest conditions. What would it be worth to read first-hand accounts of such adventures? Would it be worth contributing to the understanding of global climate change? We have a huge resource of historical records in our National Archives. Arctic researcher Dr. Kevin Wood has been working with the National Archives to post online U.S. Navy ship log books from the mid-1800s on. He is asking for your help to mine the climate data from them. The Arctic is one of the more important areas in terms of the global climate system that there is. One of the first uh, logbooks that we have imaged in our pilot was the logbook for the USS Jeannette. Mark Milan of the National Archives says they have imaged over 30 logbooks of the thousand they intend to release. We have hourly entries of the temperature of the air, the temperature of the water, the barometric pressure. This data will then be used to create a model of global weather patterns from the era, then compare and analyze them against today's climate. We're going to be able to understand a lot more about why the Arctic sea ice seems to be going away much quicker than we expected. If they can get the data in the logs transcribed. Enter the citizen scientist volunteer. Attic is what I am. Kathy Wendelkowski is one of an army of volunteers who meticulously transcribes these logs. Take weather information from these logs and enter it into a database. I'm reading what these sailors actually experienced in their own words. So that is just... <laughs> These logbooks carry great moments of laughter, moments of joy and discovery, and moments of great drama. We have some ships like the Jeanette, which got crushed in the ice, and I think only four people came back from the trip. Ship healing to the starboard caused by a tongue of ice processing upon the keel. And so you have the first day of 21 months in which they were trapped in the ice. The Greeley expedition was pretty gruesome. There were reports of cannibalism. At least one of the crew members were shot. It's just like getting a new book and reading it for the first time. You don't know where you're going to go. But the journey is certainly worth the effort. All the while adding data crucial to NOAA's understanding of global climate change. For the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Mark Elliott.